How's it going ladies and gents? This is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. Now I want to show you where I go and record videos. This is where I do it. This is where I do the podcast and I use this pair of headphones right here. The Sony MDR7506s. These are great headphones. They're pretty much industry standard headphones. Uh, but sometimes what I want to do is I want to listen to music through my MacBook Air, even though it has terrible speakers. Sometimes I just want to listen to stuff through the MacBook Air and through the headphones. Sometimes I want to split the applications that use the headphones and the applications that use the computer for output. Now, of course, you can go to the sound settings in your menu bar and select an output, but that is a global output. Uh, I want to split between at different applications. So I'm going to show you how to do that using Audio Hijack Pro, which should be in every Mac user's repertoire to begin with. So let's just play this podcast here. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff. And you can hear it coming out of the MacBook speakers. Let's Talk Jailbreak, episode number 55. Okay. I have a good friend, Cody Lee, on the line. All right, so let's pause that. And now I want to open up Safari and now play this video. And you can hear this coming from the MacBook speakers as well. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I want to show you Unshake Your Okay, let's pause this that. Now, what if I wanted to make the sound coming from Safari go directly to my headphones and not to the output of the MacBook? And I wanted to keep all of their output to the output of the MacBook. See, I just wanted to split off Safari. Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that using, like I said, Audio Hijack Pro. And it's a really cool application that has many more uses than this, but this is one of them. So I'm gonna launch Audio Hijack Pro, and now I'm going to add Safari as the source because that's the application that I want to hijack. And now I need to go to the input tab and select and then find Safari in my list. There it is. Now, once you select Safari, you want to go to the effects tab and then you want to add a new effects, the 4FX effect auxiliary device output, select that. And then for your device, select the output that you want to go to. So in my instance, I wanted to go to the Apogee one. That is what my headphones are connected to. And then just click hijack and now you're good to go. So that's still coming out of my MacBook. Okay. So now I'm going to load up Safari and then play Safari. And you'll notice it's still coming out of the MacBook speaker. So what I need to do is go back to Audio Hijack, select Safari, and then mute Safari. And now it's only coming out of my headphones. Pretty sweet, huh? So with this setup, every other audio application will be routed to the MacBook speaker. So for instance, if I go back to the desktop and play that podcast, that comes over the MacBook speakers, but I still have Safari routed directly to my headphones. So that's how you split audio using Audio Hijack. There are, of course, other ways to do this, but this is one of the ways that I use Audio Hijack on a daily basis. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.